Hey guys, welcome back to another video. The long anticipated wait for the update to the F-22 Raptor is nearing completion. Grinelli over at Grinelli Designs and his team have been working very hard around the clock. I've been checking in on them every few days and they're always cracking away at this thing. And they have created probably one of the best mods in DCS to date in my personal opinion. And as promised, we're going to show you some updates here on this channel today. And so this video is just going to be a bit of a sample of all the cool new things he's done for the F-22. And down the road, we're going to provide a full guide featuring all of the updates that he's made and uh, all the cool new features you can make. Keep in mind the F-22 at this time is not yet public, pending some final polishing touches by the boys over at Grinelli Designs. And once that's available, we will announce it on this channel and we'll provide a download link and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Okay guys, so here we are in the F-22 cockpit and we are gonna be dogfighting an F-15 today. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to cold start this thing because I think it'll show you exactly how much work and how many changes have gone into the F-22 since we last saw it on the channel. First thing we're going to do is come down here and put the battery to on. And having done that, you can see that the module is now clickable. The cockpit components are now clickable. And next thing we're going to do is come over here to COM1 and COM2. And I'm going to press COM2. And this is where you're going to choose what kind of loadout you want, your fuel, and all that stuff, right? And COM1 is going to bring up this little ground menu, all that stuff. I'm going to press ground crew, um, ground electric power, and I'm going to say on. Chief, turn on the ground power. Copy. Give it a second. Ground power is now on. There it is. Look at that, isn't that cool? So now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna hit APU to start. All right, and now we have ground power and I'm gonna hit uh, generators left and right. And I'm gonna press on the throttle here. And then you're gonna see that these RPMs on the engine are gonna start increasing as the F-22 comes to life now. Very nice. So I'm going to close the canopy just to uh, reduce the sound a little bit. And then we're going to press COM1 again, ground crew, ground electric power off. Turn off the ground power. And that'll get rid of this. Copy. Now the other thing you're going to notice, uh, let's turn on some floodlights and some ground internal lights. Now. There we go, floodlight. And we'll turn that on. Okay, so uh, we got the radar screen here. Uh, this will all be clickable, you know, the range and all that stuff. Um, let's see. Down here you have the bay controls. So you have your two sidewinder bays and the AMRAM bay, the center bay. And you'll notice something here called the ground override. So right now I'm going to F2 to the exterior of the aircraft and you're going to see that the bay doors are actually open as indicated by this MFD here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is close the bay doors by pressing the ground override button here. And once they're closed, you're going to see this symbology change and this will turn green. Just give it a second. There you go. See, now it's showing you that they're closed and that's green. So you know your bay doors are not closed.
Okay, so now we're ready to take off and you can see here I have the FCS Auto pulled up. That's the uh, flight control systems and the F-22 has got one of those now. And what I'm going to do is just put it to full burner and the aircraft is going to take off on its own. I'm not going to touch anything. No control inputs from me. Alright guys, as promised, we are dogfighting the F-15. The F-15 being flown by Longshot. He is uh, our sacrifice to the F-22 today. Big thank you to him <laughs> for sacrificing himself. Um, my plan here is to hopefully show off exactly how dominant the F-22 can be. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is kill him in the first turn. That would be ideal. Uh, 9x. Now keep in mind the F-15 is also using 9x in this uh, situation. We've added two 9x's per aircraft. And uh, neither one of us have a helmet mounted sight. So it, it's completely an even fight. It's really a matter of who can bring the nose around faster. And here we go for a one circle merge. And there's the lock. Fox 2. Splash 1. See you later, bud. And that's the F-22 for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't do anything other than yank the stick and Fox 2, and there it is. All right, so last round was fairly simple. Um, just yank the stick back. Uh, you can see on the green F-22 on the uh, MFD in the, on the left-hand side here, uh, you'll see that I have the FCS override. Um, I have overridden the flight control systems. It's completely my aircraft. I can fly it as I see fit. That's how I'm getting the massive AOA. Um, and this time, instead of Fox 2, I think we're going to go for guns. As you can see on the HUD, I got the guns pulled up. A little bit more of a challenge for the F-22, but we'll see how well this goes. Keep in mind, he's completely free to fire his 9Xs, so... Woo! <laughs> Just lit him up. His 9X missed, and uh, I see smoke coming off him, so I'm pretty sure I hit him with the guns there. And then, I mean, he's damaged at this point. It's just a matter of finishing him off, so. Not uh, Fox 2. Alright, there's another splash. So, fighting in the F 22 is pretty nice. You don't really need a whole lot of skill. The F 22 does most of the work for you. And there's his parachute. It's going to be a long way down. So really, really nice work by Grinelli and his team over at Grinelli Designs on this F-22. I think it looks fantastic so far. Um, all the MFDs, like tremendous amounts of work have obviously gone into this thing. I know he's slaved away 
you know, 16 to 18 to 20 hours a day <laughs> working on this thing. And it shows it's a great little aircraft. I love it. Um, and, you know, keep in mind the F-22 is classified. So uh, there is some leeway with some of this stuff. We don't know a whole lot about the F-22. So it's nice to just have something at this level that we can all mess around with and have some fun. Now, here we go for the third merge. Get this F-15. There we go. And one circle again. And keep in mind the one circle is important to jam the WES. Um, here we go with a uh, Fox 2. There it is. And just missed them there. That's why jamming the WES is important. You got to min range those missiles so that they can't hit you. And uh, Longshot doing a good job of that here today so far. And here we go. Got a lock. I'm going to save this one. Oh, I didn't think he would go for guns. He's already survived two turns against the F 22 so far. And that's it. See, that's it's over right here. I just moved into a great position. Lock him up. Fox 2, Splash 1. Two or three turns is uh, just about all I think any F-15 can squeeze out against the F-22. And that's if the F-22 lets you. You know, <laughs> you saw the last two rounds. Um, F-15 was dead in the first turn. So, um, yeah. All right, good fight. Okay, so in this round, I think what I'm going to do is allow the F-15 some leeway. I'm going to let him take some shots at us on the way down. Um, I will I will start shooting at him once we get down to the deck. Um, between now and then, he's completely free to try to kill me. I'm obviously going to try to you know, jam the Wes, min-range his missiles, and survive everything. But once we get down is when I'm going to start basically shooting at him. Here we go in the merge one circle, uh, once again to jam the Wes. And he does not get a fire solution in this turn. You can hear that I had one. I could have shot him right there, but we're not going to take that shot. Roll the rudder over. He might take a shot here with the Fox 2. Yep, there it is. Okay. Missed. Okay, and so here we come down for the last one. I can anticipate another Fox 2 shot here. No Fox 2 shot there. All right, so now we're going to transition into the downward spiral. And I'm sitting inside of his turn circle, pointing my nose at him every time. Just trying to scare him. And once we get close to the ground, there's a Fox 2 that I'll miss. It went right underneath. Um, as we get close to the ground transition, I'll point my nose at him one last time just to scare the shit out of him a little bit. Uh, a little throw him off kilter a little and here we go moving down to the ground now you can see it's fairly even allow him to transition to the back and then we're going to kick the rudder throw the nose around and scare the shit out of him <laughs> all right and right here i can actually get a fox 2 shot we're down at the deck now fox 2 oh and that went right over his head there continues to try to force the one circle fight which is not a bad idea the f-22 will outrate him he tries to hit me with guns there and then that's it okay right there what i just saw he got too far before he can reverse that turn f-22 is going to bring the nose around fox 2 splash one 
decent fight by the F-15, a uh, good fight for survival, but uh, just couldn't give it enough. guys quick little tack view review as always we got uh, me in the blue f22 long shot in the red f15 big thank you to long shot for coming out and doing this video um, basically sacrificed himself and his uh, time to just get shot down over and over again by an f22 and so there's the uh, the merge now once again we've talked about this several times in many videos so I'm gonna make it quick you're gonna go for the one circle merge that's a nose to nose um, fight uh, this is an attempt to jam the Wes. The lead turns are very important because if you don't lead turn, his circle will end up out here and my circle will end up out here and this range will be too much. 9x will kill you. Um, the Both of you will kill each other with a 9x shot in this range. So the lead turn is very, very important in this one circle fight. Um, and keep in mind that we don't go two circle because two circle, remember two circle is a nose to tail fight. Um, so one guy goes this way and this guy comes this way. And by the time you all get your noses around and you fire Fox 2s at each other, once again your separation is such that both of your missiles can hit each other. So we're going to go for the one circle lead turn merge to jam the Wes. Um, F-15 doesn't actually get a Fox 2 off in that situation. If you remember, I had a Fox 2 lock up here. Um, didn't take it. And we'll put the labels back on. Uh, Fox 2 shot there. Min ranged it. So, you know, jammed the Wes. Missile was ineffective. It's gone. And I'm now just pushing back into him. Constantly maneuvering in relation to the bandit. Trying to stay close to him. Trying to hug him. Uh, so he can't shoot those Fox 2s at me and just trying to stay out of his nose so he can't hit me with the gun. There you go, there's another Fox 2 shot, once again misses, goes underneath, but a pretty valiant effort by this 9X as it tries to come back. And so here's the downward spiral and right here you're going to see the nose kick. There that is. And you know, F, look at this, it's pretty amazing, you know. You see, like look what the F-22 can do. The F-15 transitions to what looks like a good position, and then the F-22 just flips. Just, whoop. And all of a sudden, you went from, you know, winning that turn on the way down to F-22's guy's nose pointed at you. You know, and then, you know, I'll do it one more time with labels on for anybody who wants the labels on. And then here we are on the deck, just pulled 20 degrees a second of instantaneous turn there. There's the lock and Fox 2. And that misses narrowly over the top of his head. Um, I don't think Flares had anything to do with that. He just min-ranged that missile. He was too close and a missile couldn't hit him. And so right here, Fox 2s by both, or sorry, guns by both of us and no hits, which I think is quite remarkable uh, given the situation. And then right here, just... You know, his couple of seconds that he takes to just regain control of the aircraft and come back for another one circle because he has to reverse that turn here. Um, that's going to be enough to get him killed because the F-22 is already initiating its turn. You can see sustained 17 degrees at a very slow indicated airspeed, you know, indicated of 163 knots. And it can still get 18 degrees a second. Like, that's not bad to 20 degrees. Um, or 19 degrees, you know, 17, 18 degrees, given that slow of an airspeed, like that's pretty decent. And uh, you can see how far uh, the F-22's nose came around before the F-15, and that's why he's dead. Okay, guys, so that's going to be the video for today. Big thank you to Longshot, big thank you to you, and big thank you to Grinelli Designs. And uh, I hope that I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.